In this video, I am going to discuss about the effect size of independent variables on the dependent variable. You can see this model where we have three independent variables, subjective norm, perceived behavior control, attitude and these three are impacting intention. And the data is coded here in SPSS where we have for subjective norm, three items are there perceived behavior control four items are there intention two items and attitude four items are there the data is in likert scale format okay and this data is uh, used in analyzing this model now when we want to know effect size what is the strength of effect of each independent variable on the dependent variable now when you want to discuss this effect size of each independent variable on dependent variable we must know what is the r square value what is r square is r square is a percentage of variance explained by the independent variables on the dependent variable in spss it is called a squared multiple correlation you can go for this analysis properties in this analysis properties, we have a check button squared multiple correlation. This need to be selected when you want to find the R square. When you select this button, we can find the R square. Let us do the analysis first and I am doing calculate estimate and let us see the output path diagram values here in the standardized estimation. You can see for intention on the top of intention we are getting red color 0 0.65 this 0 0.65 is a squared multiple correlation or it is r square value of sn pbc and attitude that is subject to norm perceived behavior and attitude combinedly these three are having the r square is 0. 6, 5. This is called as R square which is included. Now if you want to know the strength of SN, effect size of SN, we must remove this relationship and find excluding SN what is the value. Okay, to find the effect size, this is a formula. The effect size value, we must first calculate the R square which is including. Including means in our model, we have subject to norm, perceived behavior and attitude. So, combinedly this three, how much is the R square value? That we need to find. Just now we have seen it is 0 0.65. And excluding for each independent variable, we must find what is R square when that independent variable is deleted from the model. Right. After you are calculating the including this combined with all the three independent variables, excluding this value will be for each independent value. So in this table, we will substitute the values. R square is 0 0.651. We have just now seen R square value is 0 0.651. We can even see in the view text in estimates, we can see this R square value. This is squared multiple correlation value for intention it is 0 0.651. Now what we will do is we will calculate for excluded value for each independent we will find. First we will find for subject to norm. For that I am deleting this relationship and again we will calculate estimate and we will see what is the value. Now it is becoming it has become 0 0.65. This is r square value excluding subject to norm in view text we can see that estimations and in this squared multiple correlation on intention it is 0 0.633 now the same thing i have tabulated here here you can see excluding including is 0 0.651 with all the three independent variables it is 0 0.65 if only subject to norm is excluded then r square which we call as r square e excluding subject to norm is 0 0.633 now in the same way now what we will do is we will calculate for perceived behavior control so now again add this value here now delete this relationship and again calculate estimate now you can see this became 0 0.62 in the view text we can see the value 
the square multiple correlation is intention is 0 0.619 the same value I have entered here for subject to norm perceived behavior control the excluded value R square value is 0 0.619 now we will do for attitude for this attitude again come back add the relationship make the relationship between perceived behavior control and remove the relationship between attitude and intention again calculate estimate output diagram now you can see it is 0 0.58 now in view text in estimates we can see the squared multiple correlation of intention is 0 0.57 578 the same thing I'm adding here 0 0.578 so excluding R square values for subject to norm it is 0 0.633 for perceived behavior control it is 0 0.619 and for attitude it is 0 0.578 now uh, including all these three things if the all the three independent variables are there the R square is 0 0.651 so in the formula we have 1 minus r square so 1 minus uh, r square i is 0 0.349 now what you will do is we will calculate each individual values now if you see sn r i square minus r e square means uh, 0 0.651 minus 0 0.633 is 0 0.018 in the same way pbc uh, this is 0 0.651 minus 0 0.619 it is 0 0.032 and uh, next uh, we have here third one attitude 0 0.651 minus 0 0.578 it is 0 0.073 now we are going to calculate the next one so this is a formula which you are using effect size have you got this effect size 0 0.018 divided by 0 0.349 we got 0 0.051 next 0 0.032 divided by 0 0.349 it is 0 0.091 next of attitude 0 0.073 divided by 0 0.349 it is 0 0.209 this is the effect size now we need to comment what is the strength of this effect size you can see this table if the effect size is less than 0 0.15 we see the strength is weak and if it is between 0 0.15 to 0 0.35 it is moderate and if it is greater than 0 0.35 it is strong so now for the subject to norm the effect size is weak and for perceived behavior control which is 0 0.091 which is le which is less than 0 0.15 so it is weak and coming to attitude it is moderate because the value is 0 0.209 which is between 0 0.15 to 0 0.35 so it is moderate so coming to the model when you see this model the effect size of each independent variable on the dependent variable is the subject to norm is having weak effect size on intention perceived behavior control is also having weak effect size on intention and attitude is, also, is having moderate effect so this is how we are going to find the effect size of independent variables on the dependent variables using SPSS AMOS I wish this video is useful for you. Thank you.